class to Unit 8. In this unit, we're still in Chapter 7 in Layman's book, and we're dealing with Section 5 of Chapter 7. So you need to read that chapter and do the exercises that are specified in the syllabus. Um, so we're continuing with truth tables, and we're going to deal with a couple more ideas related to them, and that is the idea of a tautology, a contradiction, contingency, and logical equivalence. And by knowing your definitions of the truth function of the operators and what will make those true, we're able to see what and determine and define what a tautology is, a contradiction is, what contingency is, and what logical equivalency is. And it is by putting them on a truth table and assigning the, the, all the possible truth values, we're able to see uh, you know, what comes out related to each one of these. So a tautology, when we take a tautology and we put it on a truth table, given the, the truth function of the operators, we see that it, is, that it is true regardless of the truth value of the atomic statements. It's just, it, it's, ne it's necessarily true. If we say A and A, and we assign, we assign, uh, we assign the two possible truth values, which is true and false, uh, to, to A, then we see that that conjunction is true and true, which is true, or it's false and false, which is true. So, um, so it's true regardless of, of the components of the atomic statement. And then with a contradiction, it's false regardless of what the atomic statements are. So if we have A and A and not A, no matter what truth values we assign to A, it always comes out false. And contingency uh, is something that is, if we say A and B, kind of that's a normal contingent statement, uh, then when we assign the truth values normally, like we do with a, with a truth table, on some assignments it comes out true and on some it comes out false. So that's what a contingent statement is. It could be true and it could be false. And logical equivalence is the idea that two separate statements agree in truth value regardless of the truth value of the atomic statements. So they're always true at the same time given the truth values of, of the atomic statements. And so for this section, you'll have quiz six to do. And what you need to do there is you need to, again, in this section of 7.5, of layman's book, you need to look at the bold terms in that section, which will be uh, definitely the um, definitions of these terms like tautology, contradiction, contingency, and logical equivalence. And you'll need to learn those terms and what they mean, and so in any other bold terms in that section or italicized terms in that section. And you should do well on the quiz.